factorizing a lesson, in factorizing a sum, a problem, I have to first of all find, just like if I gave you the numbers 9 and 6, and I ask you to find the common factor for 9 and 6, what would you tell me? 3. You would tell me 3. Okay. A common factor for 9 and 6 is 3. When we're doing algebra, it's the same thing. So, here we go. 5x plus 15y. And I'm asking you for the common factor in these two problems. Numbers. 5x plus 15y. What would be the common factor here? Five can go into 5x and 5 can go into 15. So a common factor here would have been 5. My 5 would be there. 5 into 5x would leave me with x. x. And 5 into 15. Go ahead. Sanitize. Sanitize, please. 5 into 15 would leave me with 5 into 15. 3. And so this would have been 3. And the y would hold its place. Okay? We're talking about factorization. So I'm simply factorizing it. What did I do? I find the common factor or the highest common factor. 5 into 5, 5x. 5 into 15, 3 and y. Now, I could test my results. And this is what I normally do to test my results. So make sure when I'm finished factorizing, to make sure that my answer is correct. I go back and multiply. Five times x is five x. Plus five times three is 15 y. So I'm gonna get at the same thing. Okay, what was the second question on the paper? This one had six x y minus two x. What is a common factor in this problem? Two is a common number. What about a letter? X. X. X is a common letter. So on the outside, I would have two X. Now, I put my bracket there. Open the bracket. Two into six is going to give me three. And if I go X into X, that's going to give me it's going to give me one. X into X is going to give me one. So I would not put the one there. I would simply put my y minus 2 into 2 is going to give me 2 into 2 is going to give me 1 and x into x is still going to give me 1 so i'm not going to put 1 1 i'm simply going to put 3y take away 1 now let's see what will happen let's test our result 2 times 3 is going to give me 6 and x times y is going to give me xy. Wonderful. x times y is going to give me xy. Minus 2 times 2x times 1 is going to give me 2x. 2x times 1 is still going to give me 2x. And that's how I know I get back my answer. The same answer. Again, I'm looking for a what? common factor sometimes i have a common factor in terms of numbers and sometimes it might be numbers and letters okay here's another problem this one has minus minus 18 x y take out the six and the stream out of it's a negative 18 x y and a negative six Negative 6x. Okay. What is the common factor in terms of number for this problem? Hello, highest common factor? 6. Thank you. 6 can go into 18 and 6 can go into 6. So there's a 6. I open my bracket. But when I do 6 into minus 18, what am I going to get? Oh, oh, no, no, no. It's going to be a positive. No, it's a, it's a positive into a negative. It's going to give me a negative. So this is going to be negative 
Oh, before we get there, we didn't do the, the letter. What's the common factor in terms of the letter? X. X is a common factor. So I go 6 into 8 is going to be a negative 3. The X would eat up itself. I'm left with a Y minus 6 into 6 is going to give me 1. And so that would have been my factorizing. So if I do this, 6 times 3 is going to give me negative 18 x and y and 6 times y is going to give me negative 6 x and that's what i started with so what do i do i normally test i normally multiply with that thing now this is simple factorization you see simple factorization so i'm going to ask you to go back here are some prop more problems i hope you have the problems because we're going to finish Factorizing this set of problems. Seven.